Hello everybody, this is Steve Loxe uh, and I welcome Stuart Swerlow again in my channel. How do you do, Stuart? Hi, how are you today? I'm just fine. <laughs> um, well, Stuart, uh, we finished our last uh, meeting uh, with a story of the human uh, history actually and we also showed a uh, lot of entities and we saw how Lyrians uh, separated and how they became different species actually and we showed also from your book some pictures uh, of different uh, entity different races let's say now I would like to continue today from the point when uh, Maldekians and uh, and uh, Martians arrived to Maldek uh, and also to Mars and later they are discovered by reptilians. What happened uh, there exactly? After the destruction of Lyria, as we spoke about, mm -hmm. the, uh, the survivors, the, the uh, refugees uh, went to many, many different planets in different parts of this galaxy, Milky Way. And uh, here, in this solar system, they found two planets that had uh, atmosphere and conditions that were perfect for their life. Uh, we know one as Mars, which had atmosphere, oceans, it was very Earth-like. Mm -hmm. And then, between Mars and uh, Jupiter was a, a planet that has been called Maldek which was also uh, had atmospheres, uh, weather that was good for human life form. And so uh, some of the colonists uh, developed uh, small civilizations on Mars and on Maldek. And they lasted for quite a number of years, quite a few thousand number of years. Mm -hmm. And of course, the reptilians, but I should really say the Draco Empire, uh, because there are many different reptilian species, but the Draco Empire uh, was uh, involved in finding all of the Lyrian colonists, refugees, wherever they were in this uh, galaxy and even elsewhere. And they noticed uh, through their probes and their, uh, and their reconnaissance that there were colonies on Mars and Maldek. And so they developed a plan to uh, eliminate them or try to absorb them if possible and so they sent into uh, the solar system a huge ice comet and the reptilians use small black holes that they manufacture as a propulsion system in front of the ice comet which pulls it into whatever direction they wish and so they sent this ice comet into our solar system and uh, the uh, power of the ice comet as it passed planet Neptune caused Neptune to flip on its axis so that Neptune is the only known world that rotates north to south instead of west to east like all other uh, planets do. Mm -hmm. It then continued on past uh, Saturn and the Jupiter towards Maldek and Mars. Now, because of the great uh, magnetic pull of the ice comet, Jupiter, Maldek, Mars, all jumbled up together, it created a great disturbance electromagnetically on the uh, planet of uh, Maldek, which caused Maldek to explode. Of course, before this occurred, the population there realized what was going to happen and they uh, fled, many of them, to what we know as Mars. Maldek exploded, which created the uh, asteroid belt that we now have between Mars and Jupiter. Then the ice comet continued on towards Mars and uh, pulled the atmosphere and the oceans off of Mars, including three kilometers of the topsoil from the northern hemisphere of Mars. Mm -hmm. And even today, if we look at uh, planet Mars, it's not completely round. The northern hemisphere indents a little bit 
where the uh, topsoil, the, the earth of that planet was pulled off mm -hmm. uh, by the magnetic pull of the ice comet. The uh, ones who survived Mars went to the inside of Mars, right. which I think we talked about yes. uh, certain having hollow. Yeah. And so Mars is also hollow and they went inside of this. And I find it interesting that now uh, the uh, Mars probe uh, rover that NASA has w driving around Mars just yesterday, as a matter of fact, I saw an image on the surface of Mars of a spoon that uh, was laying on in the, in the sand of, of Mars. And they said, could this be left over from a previous civilization? It's very interesting hmm. what they discover with this rover. And so yeah. as and so the ice comet then continued on towards the planet Earth, which we mentioned was at that time the second uh, planet from the sun, our sun. And the Earth was at the time, as we mentioned, covered with water. Even the atmosphere mm -hmm. was very filled with liquid. And so as the ice comet came close to the Earth, it started to go into a spin with the Earth for a, a bit of time. And this sped up the rotation of the Earth and caused the oceans to polarize so that land masses uh, appeared. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also caused at the northern and southern polar regions ice to form uh, from the spinning um, mm -hmm. of the of the planet in space and eventually uh, the ice comet and the earth uh, switched positions so that the earth was pushed to the third position from the sun and the mm -hmm. ice comet took up the second position from the sun captured by the sun's gravitational field mm -hmm. And uh, because of the strong light radiation from the sun, it caused the ice on the comet to uh, evaporate, Not. creating a dense yes. cloud cover, and it became the planet Venus, which we, yeah. we now know covered in clouds. But now the Earth was uh, colonizable because there were land masses. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, two. Uh, gigantic land masses but there were others as well but these were the two biggest ones and so the uh, reptilians the Draco Empire drove another vehicle into our solar system and parked it in orbit around the earth in order to colonize the earth we call this new vehicle we call it the moon and as uh, I've mentioned in my work many times the uh, the moon does not spin yes. like other objects Face. It's only one side faces all of the time. This uh, is specially like done. I mean, specially did this way. Yes, and uh, and uh, when uh, NASA had sent uh, probes to the moon, the moon landings, they brought the rocks back, and it turns out that the rocks that they brought back from the moon were older than the Earth, and were from a composition which is not even seen in our solar system. All right. So. It, was in effect the proof that this was not from here. Yeah. Of course, of course, uh, over the years, there's been many cover stories. Is it hollow? The moon is also hollow. And this has also been proven when uh, they send a sonic resonance to the moon. The moon rings like a bell, mm. like it's hollow. It doesn't thump like yeah. a solid object. Yes. And uh, they also notice occasionally that there are these uh, water and steam vents that suddenly shoot out from various places in the moon as if something inside is releasing uh, waste product or toxins or what have you. The moon actually expels this into space. Hmm. Also on the surface of the moon is a product called helium-3, mm -hmm. which is not found naturally anywhere. It has to be manufactured. And this is covering the entire surface of the moon. And uh, the surface of the moon is covered also with debris that comes from the inside of the moon. It looks hmm. like someone hollowed it out and dumped everything on the outside. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And 
And also what's interesting, you know, when you look at the stories that were told about the moon, that the craters are from meteor impacts and so on, well, then how can they explain that all of the craters are flat? There is no uh, uh, impact site. It's only flat. Yeah. And there's no debris. There's no debris from uh, any of the uh, so-called impacts. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you study all of this, uh, you realize that the moon is a, a hollow object, artificially created. Uh, or should I say, it was once a natural object that was modified right. and used as, as a vehicle, uh, which the reptilians are very well known for such yeah. things. And so, and so they colonized the largest continent on this planet at the time which we call Lemuria and it existed in what is now the Pacific Ocean mm -hmm. and a very large volcanic uh, island uh, continent I should say and the reptilians lived there for hundreds of thousands of years uh, undisturbed uh, they considered it to be their new a world that they colonized mm -hmm. but when we go back to Mars we find uh, inside uh, the uh, original Martian colonists Maldekian colonists it became a little difficult to live uh, in this occupied space so many beings with limited but resource weren't they brothers actually from the beginning of course Lyrian they're descendants. all we can say that they all have common ancestry, Lurians, and I also find it interesting that uh, many people who have had uh, interactions, abductions on this world by so-called aliens and so on, many of these beings tell the humans, when the humans ask, where do you come from? Where are you from? And they say, we have a common ancestor with you. <laughs> and so, not all say, not all say, but uh, the human ones, the very human ones, say, yes, we have a common ancestor, and that some even say they are from this world, which is an, another story completely, which we can talk about right. another time. Right. Because the Earth has had many, many uh, civilizations over its history. Mm -hmm. And I can also say that uh, the universe is a bit older than scientists will tell you that it is. Yeah, that was For, what you talked about in Poland, actually. Yes, yes. In fact, uh, uh, scientists will say that they estimate our universe to be approximately 13 to 14 uh, 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 billion years old, when in fact it's much, much older than that, maybe close to 100 billion oh. years old. Yes. Yeah, there, it's very old. And what I also find interesting, Isfan, is just uh, two days ago, uh, NASA said that because of their Hubble telescope and other research, they have uh, discovered hidden galaxies that they didn't know existed. In fact, uh, billions of them uh, that were hidden behind the gas cloud that they were now able to see past the gas cloud, mm -hmm. which means the universe is much more, uh, even uh, the, our galaxy, much more uh, vast than yeah. we ever imagined. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's yes. really, then, really it's, interesting. Yeah. And then, uh, so, you say a reptilian uh, came on Earth first and they occupied it, especially Lemuria or Mu, if some knows it uh, by this denomination and then came um, after kind of dispute between the Maldicans and Martians some of them came to earth also what did happen correct well uh, after many many thousands of years uh, passed by mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Lyrians who were inside of Mars uh, determined that there was a need to live uh, on a world with an atmosphere, oceans and surface, etc. Of course, Earth was the closest one. And uh, it was determined that they would send their own colonies to the Earth. Uh, and uh, that's what they did. They then colonized the second largest continent, 
which we know as Atlantis, which existed in what is now the Atlantic Ocean region. And uh, Atlantis, uh, of course, uh, was a huge uh, continent as well. But uh, over time, as we realize, mammalian life form, reptilian life forms really are not designed to live in the same environment, the same planet. Yeah. Different requirements, yeah. different culture, mind pattern, etc. And so, of course, <clears throat> but, it, was, it was war between the two. But there is something that you mentioned in your book that actually um, Pleiadians were part, or some Pleiadians were who came to Atlantis, actually. Yes. They were the very first. They were the <laughs> experimental group, if you will. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because the Pleiades, of course, there's been a lot of uh, information not correct about this since the 1960s. The Pleiadian star system has seven stars, all of which are younger than our own sun. Mm -hmm. And so, no life developed there naturally. The Pleiadian mm -hmm. star system was colonized also by Lyrian refugees, even before uh, Mars and Maldek were colonized. Yeah. And there was one group uh, in this uh, system called Atlans. The Atlans were a bit uh, aggressive. They wished to uh, manipulate the other star systems in the Pleiadian uh, system. Yes, correct. These yeah. ones. Correct. All right. And so it was decided, it was decided by uh, a refugee council, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, said, well, you can start your own uh, empire colony in the solar system where the Earth is. And so they were the first experimental ones. Yes. Uh huh. Correct. Okay. Very similar. They're all similar. Yeah. Um, and so they were first. And when <clears throat> they were successful, then the others came. But uh, I, um, did the did some from Maldek or or um, Mars come to come to Lemuria also? No, because Lemuria was very reptilian. Uh, no human type life there. It was a hostile environment for them. Uh, not so much uh, the ground itself, but the the beings that were there. All right, but then um, when they came to uh, to Atlantis. When can we um, situate in time this this uh, event? As far as uh, the the uh, the first... Maldekians, no, the Maldekians and and Martians or Atlans, when they came to Atlantis or to Earth, when when did it happen? It was approximately a million years ago. All right. Approx all right. One million years ago, uh, you know, uh, we are finding now uh, under the ocean and the, even in some of the mountainous regions in uh, North America and, and even Europe, uh, evidence or artifacts of a human nature that are a million years old. Mm -hmm. And that is why uh, sometimes when they dig in a coal mine and they dig up the coal deep, deep from the earth, hundreds of meters down, they are finding artifacts that look modern, a bullet, a shoe, uh, some other device. And how could this have come mm. into this uh, area? Well, because it was from over a million years ago. Okay. But uh, and the then uh, there is something that somehow um, some cultures got to Mu or to Lemuria and there they developed a new culture, let's say. How can we connect these? Uh, so maybe At Atlanteans went to Lemuria later? How, how did, no. how did people who, get there? I don't I'm not sure exactly what you're asking, but uh, there was only reptilian, androgynous reptilian in Lemuria until the destruction of Lemuria, which was about 300,000 years ago. And that's from the war between the Atlanteans and the Lemurians. And after that, Lemuria sank 
Mm -hmm. uh, so there was no other colonization except for Australia, which is the largest piece that is left of that continent. Um, and uh, we know that there is a big, big reptilian nest underneath Australia and in parts of the Pacific. Uh, and uh, there are even prehistoric creatures which are seen in these regions even today, mm -hmm. especially in the western part of Australia. Uh, and so, uh, of course, there's a lot of, um, uh, how shall I say, glorification in uh, New Age material about Atlantis, etc. But in effect, the Atlanteans were very warlike, and they tried to manipulate the environment and the other cultures around them. And so that's why there was this war that ended with the destruction of Lemuria, but ultimately ended with the destruction of Atlantis. They destroyed themselves with their electromagnetic devices. Mm -hmm. uh, and that created other cultures globally. Uh, and then, after that, uh, there were remnants from the Martian civilization that came to what is now uh, Middle East and uh, created uh, Sumer, Sumer Empire, about 7,000 years ago. And uh, mm -hmm. that is uh, interesting why this same region is the center of such conflict even today uh, because of the, this uh, migration and the spreading then historically into other continents, which is, again, another another episode, if you will, All right. of, of history yes, of the yes, Earth. Yes, yes, yes. We already, many people know about that part of, of the history, I think. Well, uh, from here on, let's say, we can find also uh, many different uh, researchers' uh, work uh, on this uh, history. I mean, Sumer, later Acadia, Babylonia, and so on, so on, up to, to today. And um, this is a new story already. And <clears throat> um, so from here on, we will uh, continue to talk about different um, things, I mean, different uh, part of the story, of the human story. And uh, let's say what happened. So as you said that uh, people, remnants of, of the Martians, uh, got to uh, Sumer and they became actually the first human civilization let's say all right but what can you tell us in a few words about the genetic manipulation of them yes 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 <clears throat> after the destruction of both lemuria and atlantis many of the other colonies from other parts of this galaxy and even Andromeda galaxy felt it was necessary to use this earth as a, a testing ground experimentation etc mm -hmm. to develop new cultures to see what is the best possible uh, template for future beings and so many many came here manipulated uh, the genetics which is uh, discussed in mm -hmm. book of enoch i suggest everyone yeah. read book of enoch uh, they created different types of animal creatures hybrids insects uh, giants all kinds of uh, beings mm -hmm. uh, some were destroyed some were recreated some were taken elsewhere it's a very complex story mm -hmm. but uh, many of those experiments still survive today uh, on the earth uh, in various forms, uh, Bigfoot, yeah. uh, uh, werewolf type creatures, uh, vampires, all these type of things which are uh, put by science in, uh, in, uh, in this as, as fake or not true, mm -hmm. they actually do and have existed. Oh. Uh, and so, yeah. You, you and, think and so vampires that, existed? They do exist. They do exist. Not the way Hollywood says but they uh, just there are, drink blood let's say 
Yes, yes. And in fact, even uh, recently in Germany, for example, just uh, a few months ago, there was a man who uh, advertised for victims and actually uh, had someone come to his uh, location, uh, killed him, drank his blood, ate his body, uh, just wow. like a vampire would do. And this, these stories are coming up uh, more frequently now. And so it's very likely that this person who did it had the genetics, or maybe descendancy of one of these creatures. And so it activated in him and he had this need wow. to do this. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. Stuart, this is absolutely fantastic. And we will leave it here for now. And we will continue in the next session from the human, from the first human um, civilization in Sumer and how do we got on the scene all right and before we finish just uh, to announce to everybody that uh, Stuart uh, has uh, uh, prepared a seminar an, an online seminar for Spanish speak speaking uh, people and we will uh, do it on 28th of January at uh, 16 hour 4 p.m. Spanish time and that uh, would be um, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time of uh, United States and also if I don't get wrong uh, 9 a.m. in Mexico 9 a.m. also or maybe 10 a.m. I'm not sure uh, in Colombia uh, that would be 12 p.m. not 12 p.m. well midday <laughs> midday in um, in Argentina all right so uh, the thing is that we will uh, share something uh, very special uh, to you to everybody in Spanish or maybe Stuart will speak Spanish I don't know if you want to speak Spanish or or we will use a translation mm. uh, si, it's possible. Todo está possible. okay very well then um, Stuart what is shortly um, what will be the theme hyperspace as we understood a little bit I think in this, it, for the beginning, uh, some information about hyperspace work, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think very important for the world now, especially for Latin American people who may not have previously access to this information, mm -hmm. that we need to talk about uh, programming and mind control and how to fix this. Very well, very well. You must know also that the seminar will be done in two parts, all right? The first part, as I told you, in 28th of January, and the second part will be at 4th of February. Also, each of them is Saturday. All right, so at the same time, so everybody is invited uh, to come and you can contact me, you can contact also Janet or Stuart, maybe Janet, right? Better. And, uh, <laughs> and um, you will get here the links and uh, emails and everything to contact. All right, so uh, uh, go ahead and start already to reserve, to reserve, excuse me, to reserve your place because we only have 22 places all right mm -hmm. so see you next time Stuart. thank you very much for this uh, intervention thank you. Thank and uh, uh, for everybody else a big big hug and see you next time bye 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 for now.